Hello, my name is Brenda Carey. I'm going to be guiding you through a lower back care yoga sequence. In this practice, we move between muscle activation in the low back and core, but also into the hips and upper leg muscles. And we create balance by also lengthening those same areas. So this practice hopefully will find you feeling more stable in those areas and also feeling more length. If you are experiencing any low back pain or any pain at all, please take this practice gently. No need to over effort. You'll also need a set of blocks or stacked books works just as well and a blanket for comfort. All the postures done today are going to be on the mat, so no standing postures. So come join me. We're gonna start by lying on our backs. And have at least one block nearby within arm's reach. So once you're lying on your back, knees are bent, Let's bring the feet wide, so wider than hip width, maybe about mat width apart, and we're gonna teepee the knees in. And allow that to settle the low back down, maybe even place one or both hands on your lower belly. And then I would invite you to close down the eyes. I'm gonna spend these first couple of minutes just focusing inward and drawing awareness to our spine that is connected to the earth. And I would invite you to breathe a little bit more deeply. So on your next inhale, really fill up the low belly into the rib cage, up into the heart space, staying relaxed, and then deflating the heart space rib cage and belly. And moving through this three part breath, but I'd also like for you to feel it along your spine as well. So for example, on your inhale, feel your low back fill up, up into the mid back, to the upper back in between the shoulder blades, staying relaxed and then slow deflating till there's no air left. And moving through this intentional breathing a couple more rounds. Noticing if you're holding any tension along your back body at all. And without any kind of judgment, just noticing it, maybe breathing into that area with softness. And then placing one hand on the heart, and one can, can stay on the belly. I would invite you to set an intention for this practice. And for me personally, when I am working through some low back issues, I like to connect to the energy of feeling supported and safe. Energetically, our spine resonates with the energy of how supported we feel in this life. So if that sounds like an intention that would serve you, maybe a simple mantra of I am supported. Let's take in one more deep inhale into the nose. And then open mouth, exhale to release. Loosening the jaw. And then sealing the lips as we breathe in and out of the nose smooth and fluid. And then let's open the eyes and bring the hands down by the side. 
We'll separate the knees and bring the feet into about hip width apart. You're going to walk the feet back so the knees and ankles are in alignment. And we're just gonna begin with some pelvic tilts. So on your inhale, fill up with breath, neutral spine. And then when you're ready to exhale, I want you to press your low back into the mat and kind of curl the pelvis underneath. And we're just moving with this gentle movement with your breath, inhaling, belly rises slightly up toward the sky, not overarching. And then exhale, gently pressing the low back into the mat. Let's do that one more time. Now you can stay with these pelvic tilts or on your inhale, let's lift the hips up, coming into a bridge, keeping the knees parallel. So the knees don't splay apart. And then when you're ready to exhale, floating the hips down. And again, either pelvic tilts or moving through these floating bridges just to begin to warm up. If you'd like to add on, you can also float the arms up overhead. So inhale, hips lift, arms float up and overhead, biceps by the ears. When you're ready to exhale, hips and arms float back down. So you have three different choices of how you'd like to warm up. We'll move through that a couple more times. Final time. And then arms and spine land onto the mat. One breath here, saying your intention. I am supported, or I am safe. And then we're going to begin the muscle activation portion first. So this is so important. Many times often in yoga for back care, they start right away with stretching and lengthening the muscles. And so often when we are really wrestling with low back pain, the signal from our brain to the muscle has been shut off basically just as a protection mechanism. So we're not going to over effort through these exercises. It's just meant to basically retrain the brain um, to re-engage this muscle. So we're gonna start in a reverse table. So bring the feet up off the ground, 90 degree angle from your hips to your knees to your ankles. And I'm just gonna rotate so you can see this from a different angle. It might be a little bit more helpful. You stay as you are. And what I'd like you to do is place your hands on your upper thighs. And you're gonna basically create your own resistance, but only with 30% effort. So I'm gonna have you push down with the palms of your hands as your knees press into your palms. And I want you to take three deep breaths as you focus in on these quad muscles and hip flexors that are activating. So we're breathing deep to send the signal that this is a safe muscle to engage. And we're just basically reminding the brain to engage these muscles to help support our low back. And then release, relax, take a breath here. And we're gonna do this one more time, so hands land onto the tops of the thighs, and again, create a 30% effort of your own resistance. Thighs press into the palms of the hands, palms press down into the thighs. Couple deep breaths here. And then relax, arms come down. Now we're going to do our inner thigh muscles. So I'm gonna have you take both of your fists together or you could use a block in between the legs, sorry, on the skinny end. Or if you don't have a block, feel free to use your fists together. And you're gonna engage these inner thigh muscles. So I want you to squeeze the inner knees in and I want you to just lightly press the hands outward into the inner knees. So creating your own resistance, Couple more deep breaths. 
One more. And then relax. I'm going to rotate back to center. We're going to do that one more time. So either your block or your fist together come inside the inner knees. Create your resistance, squeezing in, fist pressing out. Really focusing on the muscles, those inner thighs that are being activated. One more breath. And then relax. Now we're going to come to the outer knees. So we're going to engage the outer thighs. Again, these are really important muscles to have activating, especially for hip stability and low back stability. So my hands come to the outsides of the knees. You're going to press your outer knees, pressing out into the palms of your hands as your palms lightly press in. Again, 30% effort is all it takes. Three deep breaths. Notice if you tense up in the jaw or the face, let that go. And then let that release. We're going to do that just one more time. And it is important to bring your mental awareness to the muscles being activated. That will help retrain those neural pathways. So hands to the outer, outer knees, pressing out into the palms, relaxing breaths. Creating your own resistance. And then releasing. And then final muscle activation is going to be the back of the legs or the hamstrings. So back into your reverse table. Hands come to the hamstrings. And you're going to pretend as if you're pressing the soles of your feet outward as you create your own resistance of palms. Creating resistance into the legs. So again, three deep breaths. Feeling the back of the legs activate your hamstring muscles. And release. One more time. Reverse table, hands come to the back of the hamstrings. Press out with the feet as the hands press into the hamstrings. Creating your own resistance, not over efforting. Being mindful of the muscles that are being engaged. And release. Bring the soles of the feet back down. Let's bring the feet wide and we'll just kind of tick tock the knees gently from side to side. So now that we have all of our lower leg muscles activated, let's get into lengthening them. So knees float back to center. Let's hug the right knee into the chest. Give it a good squeeze in. Now, depending on how your low back is feeling, if you feel pretty stable in your low back, um, you can extend this left leg nice and long, flex the left foot, and make a muscle with that left thigh. And then we're going to begin to make some circles with this right hip. Your right hand can come on to the knee to guide it. You can start with small circles and then opening up to a little bit bigger if that's comfortable. Our hip rotation is significantly correlated to our low back health. Now reverse the direction of this rotation, so opposite way. And then bringing that right knee back in. We're going to interlace the hands at the back of the hamstring and extend this right leg up toward the sky, flexing the right foot as if you're stamping the sky. Soft bend or bigger bend in the knee if you need. Relax in the shoulders. If you're feeling pretty open in your hamstrings, you can walk the hands up toward the calf as an option. One more deep breath. And then from here, let's bring that right knee back in. And we're going to move it toward the outside, so more towards your right armpit, coming into half happy baby. So right hand extends down to the sole of the foot. As you bring the sole of the foot toward the sky, opening up this hip. If the hand doesn't easily reach the sole of the foot, 
use your elbow behind the back of your knee and just kind of hook it around and bring some gentle pressure to this back of the right leg down toward the earth. One more breath. And then release it, bringing that right knee back into center. We're gonna bend the left knee, place the left sole of the foot onto the mat, coming into a figure four stretch. So externally rotate this right hip so the outside of the right ankle comes onto the left thigh. You may choose to stay right here with the left foot planted on the earth, or you can pick up this left leg. Right hand comes through the hole you created with the legs as the left arm reaches around, clasping at the shin or the hamstring. So we lengthen the muscles of the lower legs to help release the tension that can travel up into our glutes and our low back. A couple more deep breaths. Taper and inhale. And then open up, exhale, releasing any tension. And then releasing that left foot down if you've lifted it up, uncrossing that right leg. And then we'll come to the other side. So left knee hugs into the chest. This right knee can stay bent, or if you're feeling pretty stable in your low back, you can extend the right leg long onto the mat, flex, flex the right foot, make a muscle with that right thigh. And then again, we're gonna get into some hip rotation in the left hip. So left hand can stay on the knee as you begin to rotate. And it doesn't matter which direction you rotate first. Maybe start small to begin. And then if you feel like it and it feels safe to do so, make those hip circles a little bit larger. And then reverse the direction, so opposite way. And really be mindful of how the hip rotation affects your low back. Is there any sensation there? Just something to be mindful of without judgment. And then bringing this left knee back into the chest. And we're gonna extend this left leg long as we interlace the hands behind the hamstring or the calf. Maybe a bigger bend in that left knee or begin to straighten it, flexing the left foot as if you're stamping the sky. Shoulders are relaxed. One more deep breath. And then bend this left knee back into the chest, moving it outward, so more toward the left armpit. Reaching the left hand down to the sole of the foot, bringing the sole of the foot up toward the sky. Or hooking the elbow behind the back of the knee and draw this knee down with a little bit of pressure from either the hand to the foot or the elbow behind the knee. Open up this left hip. Feel the left side of the low back release. One more breath. And then releasing this left foot, bringing the knee back to center. We're going to bend the right knee, place the right sole of the foot onto the mat, coming into a figure four stretch on this side. So externally rotating this left hip, outside of the left ankle comes onto the right thigh. Option to stay right here, or picking up that right foot, interlacing the hands through either to the hamstring or the shin. And also noticing which side feels more open. Sometimes, depends on each person, it's very individual, the side that is tighter 
the hip that is tighter can be the side of the low back that causes more pain. But the reverse could also be true as well. We call that the compensating side. So sometimes even the side that is more flexible because it's overstretched can be the side that causes more pain. Couple more deep and full breaths. Right in here. And then exhale, we'll slowly lower that right foot down. If you've lifted it, uncrossing that left leg, both soles of the feet plant onto the mat. And we're just going to tick tock the knees from one side to the other. Just kind of notice the blend of muscle stability and length that we've created so far. And then I'm gonna have you bring your knees all the way over to one side. We're going to press up. And we're gonna come into a tabletop position. So I like a little padding underneath my knees for tabletop. It's just personal preference. So bring the fingertips nice and wide. Have a block nearby. And in our tabletop position, we are going to, again, be activating our core muscles and our inner thigh muscles at the same time. So I'm gonna have you take this block and set it in between the inner thighs and gently squeezing the block. We're gonna start with that first. Hug the belly button up toward the spine, flattening the lower back. This engages the lower core muscles, pelvic floor, I'm going to have you tuck your toes. And please make sure that your gaze is a few inches in front of the fingertips. This just keeps the neck in line with the spine. And then as you draw the belly button toward the spine, let the knees float about an inch or two off the mat. Couple more deep breaths. Stay for an inhale, one more. Exhale, softly lower the knees down. Move the block out to the side. We're gonna press back into child's pose. Knees come wide, about mat width apart. Big toes come in as you bring your hips towards your heels, settling in. Soften through the shoulders. And on the inhale, we're going to lift up back to table. All that fun. One more time. Take your block, set it in between your inner thighs. And if you don't have a block, that's perfectly fine. You can do this without the block. Just please make sure to try and really engage those inner thighs. Tuck the toes. Here we go. Lift your gaze so it's a few inches in front of your fingertips. And then as you draw your belly button up to the spine, knees lift off about an inch or two off the mat. Breathing deep. One more. Stay for the inhale. On the exhale, softly lowering the knees down. Block moves off to the side. Knees come wide for us back. Child's pose, settling in here. And as you are in your child's pose for a couple more breaths, say your intention to yourself. I am safe. I am supported. Breathe into your back body. Exhale it out. On the inhale, rising back up to your table, bringing the knees in. Lining up the wrists and the shoulders. Here we're going to come into balanced table. So we're going to extend the right leg long. Flex the right foot. Draw all the toes down toward the mat. As you lift the opposite left arm in front of you. Same stable here.
taper, one more inhale. Exhale, we're gonna lower the left hand down and you're gonna lower the right toes down but keeping the right leg extended. Let's move the left hand in front of the face. Kick out this left shin, we're coming into a modified side plank and then lifting the right fingertips up toward the sky. I want you to draw your waistline up toward the sky. Getting all angles of our core muscles. If you'd like to straighten the bottom leg into a full side plank, feel free to do so, like so. If that's not a part of your practice today, bottom knee comes down. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, lowering that top arm down. And coming back into table. Balance table on the other side. Let's extend the left leg long. Flex that left foot, draw all the toes down. And then lifting that right arm in front. Really keeping that nice core engagement, belly button to spine. Breath is smooth and fluid. One more breath, you've got it. Stay for the inhale. On the exhale, right hand floats down. Left leg stays long as you tuck the left toes on the mat. Bring the right hand in front of the face. Kicking out this right shin as you open up into modified side plank. Really extending the waistline toward the sky. And again, if you'd like, you can straighten this bottom leg. Coming into a full side plank. Just options. One more breath. Then on your exhale, coming down into your table. Now from here, you have an option to press back into child's pose if you would like. Or if you're ready for downward facing dog, let's tuck the toes. Come back into that knee hovering table that we were in. One breath here. And then exhale, using the core to bring your hips high up and back into downward facing dog. So a few breaths, either in down dog or in child's pose. One more breath. On your inhale, I want you to shift forward into plank. So if you're coming up from child's pose, it could be a knee down plank. Or you could have legs straight in your plank. Again, gaze is a few inches in front of the fingertips. This is so important for our whole spinal health. Gather up all that core strength energy, belly button to spine. And then you decide. Exhaling either into child's pose or downward facing dog. Really lengthening out through the spine. Spread the fingers wide, pressing into each finger. I'm going to do this one more time. Exhale it out first. On your inhale, coming forward, either into knee down plank or a straight leg plank. Gathering up all that core strength and energy. Breath is smooth and fluid. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, either child's pose or downward facing dog. On your exhale, let's bring the knees down if you're in down dog. We're going to come to kneeling. And if kneeling doesn't work for your knees, feel free to come to a seated posture. You can even bring the block underneath your seat to lift up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Now I really want you to draw, get awareness, draw your tailbone down toward the earth. So we're not tucking it under, but just enough so you feel these lower core muscles engage. Closing the eyes down. 
Noticing a nice tall spine with the crown of the head rising toward the sky. Breathing in your intention. Exhale, soften. This time we're going to inhale, squeeze the arms out and up. Fingertips reach up to the sky. Roll the shoulders back and down. Again, tailbone is still drawing down for the earth. Feel the length. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down toward the mat as you lean slightly over to the right. Breathe into the left rib cage. Inhale, sweeping the bottom arm up. And then exhale, left arm comes down, leaning slightly over to the left. Breathing into the right rib cage, creating space and length. Inhale, sweeping the bottom arm up. This time, let's bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades. Again, it's your tailbone drawing down toward the earth as we do this. One breath here. Inhale, sweeping the arms back up. Now we're going to come into a gentle twist. So inhale here. Exhale, gently twist to the right. Opposite hand to the knee. Nice tall spine. Looking over the back shoulder if that's comfortable on the neck. Now I would encourage you if you are really struggling with low back pain, that twist be done very gently and with no leverage. So what I mean by leverage is this front hand would be really pressing hard in to make my body twist in this direction. Basically, my hand is here just for support. Let's inhale, sweep up through center. Let's lengthen first. Fingertips reach up to the sky. And then exhale, twisting over to the left. Again, no leverage on the twist. Just a nice tall spine, allowing however much twist is available in your spine today. And know that that could change from day to day. More accepting of the messages that our spine specifically is attempting to give to us. Can we listen with compassion for ourselves? Inhale, sweeping through center. Exhale, hands to heart, remembering I am supported and I am safe. From here, final posture. We may need to have both blocks. We're going to come down to lying onto our back. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. So you may like to have the blocks underneath the thighs or the knees for support. Placing one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Coming back to your slow and mindful breathing. As we begin to end our practice, saying these three affirmations, either out loud or to yourself, to really seal in all the work that we've done, both physically, and mentally, and emotionally. So on the inhale, breathing in, I am safe. I am supported in this life. I trust in myself. Inhale into the nose. Open up, exhale, and release. Feel free to stay here in Shavasana or begin to straighten one leg and the other, arms long by the side. Stay here as long as you need. It's been my honor to guide you through this practice. 
light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.